bottom there, beautiful people. I am here to tell you that it's very windy in Yerevan and it's about to rain. And right behind me is the police station. Why was I held in the police station? Let me go somewhere less windy and tell you all about it. right now for 24 hours because I had a flight last night and I'm currently in Zavartnots International Airport. Well by last night I had a flight this morning I think I forgot the time. I don't even know what day we're in at this point. Uh, so basically this is what happened. Have you ever missed the flight after arriving to the airport for four hours before your flight? If not, that is what happened with me. So the, there was a l delay with my flight um, with Lufthansa Airlines. And also <laughs> when I arrived, I had one bag that I could take with me. But since my bag was huge, they made me check it. So I ended up paying for a check bag that went nowhere like me in life. Um, anyway, so I was like super early and I got in. Um, also, fun fact, when I tried to pay for my checked bag, my card declined. I'm not superstitious, but I'm, I am a little stitious. So we were not off to a great start. I arrived at 1 a.m. My flight was at 5 a.m. There was a delay. So I was sitting in front of the gate as, you know, usually Armenians do when they're traveling. They arrive early and sit directly in front of the gate waiting. And I was waiting for them to call out my group um, to, to board. And for some reason, I decided to watch The Simpsons Predictions. Look, Mom, the safety instructions are written in haiku. Fasten seatbelts tight. Your seat cushions float gently. Headsets, $5. And what really came, because I'm, you guys, I think, know that I'm scared of flying, which is ironic, uh, given it's a travel channel. But basically, I decided to watch something light, so I will be, like, less stressed. And as I was watching that, and also to keep me awake, Haha, uh -huh. that worked really well. Um, literally, I texted people saying I'm boarding when we were boarding, waiting for them to call for my group. I don't know how my eyes closed for two seconds and I fell asleep. And not even asleep, like you know how like you just like, like that? That's what happened. And I opened my, and there was a flight to Vienna and a flight to Frankfurt right next to each other from gate one and two, which are like attached to each other in Zwartnot. And it was getting so confusing because they were just yelling everybody's names and things. And like, I could not hear properly what was going on. So long story short, I open my eyes and I see that it says boarding still at the gate. So I just get up. I don't even run because I'm right there. And they say, nope, we already removed your bag from the plane. You are not boarding. This is not happening. And I was like, okay. I tried to pull off the whole, like, I'm going to cry. It didn't work. They're like, we can't do anything. The, we removed, you know, the bag is not there anymore. So I was like, let me just go get coffee real quick. And I will continue how I ended up in the police station. Okay. I got coffee. So where were we? So in my head, I go into problem fixing mode and I'm like, okay, I have a layover in Frankfurt so how can I and Vienna so yeah um, I was like how can I find a way maybe to get to Frankfurt so I'm like okay thinking of ways flights and this and that calling people anywho it turns out now they take us to the because they were like oh you have a back check check bag back check check bag and there was another girl with me who was Russian um, who seemed very relaxed about the whole situation when she found out that she can't board the flight she was like okay nonchalant whatever another day in life I guess um, anyway so I then take us to give us the baggage and I'm thinking okay they're gonna give us the baggage and then immediately we're gonna just like go out no 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 that's not what happens they take us to the security of the airport and the guy keeps being like, sit down, this is gonna be a process, sit down, this is gonna be processed. I'm like, process for what? I don't understand. So we sit down and I still don't see my bag anywhere. 
he was initially like honestly he was very matter of fact initially and then he became like super super nice so I was like okay this is nice I'm um, getting to see behind the scenes of what the airport looks like um, there was nothing that exciting this is beautiful but there was like nothing that exciting behind the scenes um, anyway and then the guy offers us coffee and I was like no 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 I just like need to figure what what I'm doing um, then I found out from him that apparently we're not allowed to leave they're gonna take us to the police station and we're not allowed to leave until the flight lands it's a four-hour flight and I just didn't understand why because my bag was taken out of the plane so if any of you guys know the logic behind this please let me know in the comments because I'm really really curious I even asked him I said is this like a an international law of airports and he said yes so I really want to know if this ever happened to you guys let me know what's happening so anyway then we leave we go to the passport control like we're like doing like rewind repeating all the steps you do when you go into an airport but like rewind and then we get handed off to another guy and then I tell the first guy I said I think he was the head of security I say oh like what if I find another flight at like in two hours like can you guys let me go so I can catch the other flight and he goes um, I will let you know in five minutes but he hands us off to the other guy before it was five minutes so I was like hmm I see what you did there beep John Hmm? I know what you did there. Anyway, I was asking the second guy, I'm like, what about that first guy who said in five minutes he's gonna tell me? And he's like, no, I don't know. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna hand you off to the police now. I'm like, what? Never been to the police? Okay, so they give me my bag and then they take us to the police. Again, really, really nice guy. I did not even realize that there was a, a police station right next to the airport, which now looking back, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They kept our passport this whole time. And also, by the way, this entire time, the Russian girl is not understanding what's happening. So she was super relaxed. And I'm like, why is she like not asking questions and like fighting with me? That like, why are we staying here? Like, what's the logic? And then it turned out that she wasn't understanding anything. Duh. So that didn't even click to me that we were all speaking Armenian the whole time. And then she was like prepared to leave when the guy was like, no, you're going to the police station. She broke down. And it was like, to me, that was a delayed reaction because basically like I already went through that phase and I'm like, oh no, this is awkward watching from outside. Anyway, broke down, calm down. Then we go to the police station, they keep our passports. And then I tell the guy again, like at the police station, so he's like a police officer. I was like, hey, look, like I really wanna buy another flight. And he's like, what time is it? And then um, they, he just like arbitrarily, randomly decided that they'll just let us go at a specific time based on the flight time that I said. But I also didn't wanna lie and say like an earlier flight, like I wanted to be honest with them and like show them the new ticket, blah, 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 all these things. Long story short, they kept us there until the flight arrived to Vienna, the flight that we were supposed to be on. It's kind of like a like a like a thing in the face where it's like you can't be on that flight, but you can't also do anything until the flight that you miss lands in its destination. Anyways, I stayed there and but again he was super nice. And then I was like, okay, and then he just like he was like, did you book your flight? I said yes. And then he just gave me my passport and I left. And that's why I'm back now at the airport. So Again, as to you guys, and let's hope that um, I will see you guys at my next destination. Wish me luck. Um, I bought the new flight, and it was really expensive. I declare bankruptcy. Um, so please like, share, subscribe, tell someone, comment, tell me stories. Okay, cheers. Genas, love you guys. Bye, I just kissed you out of nowhere. That was not the part where I was supposed to kiss you. I thought I was doing a video call with someone. Anyway, okay, Bachikner, this is where I kiss you. Bye! It's like that awkward time when on a work call you ended by saying, okay, love you, bye! Yeah, that just happened. Okay. Apparently the video wasn't done then. I have more to say. So on the, I passed uh, the security and everything, even the boarding, everybody were like, oh, you're the Vienna girl. And as awkward as it was, I turned it into a bonding experience and uh, we bonded and the girl's like, at least we know your papers are checked and your baggage is checked. And the head of the security who like was the first point of contact when they took us in the back offices was at the, 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 the security check. And I was like, hey, I'm back. And he's like, this time be careful. Like, I don't want to see you again.
I don't know why he said that. I'm not taking it personally. Um, anywho, I made it to my gate, and on the bright side, literally because it is now morning time, I get to see one more view of Ararat before I leave. Hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to see a menu, please. Oh, I'm sorry. There are no meals on flights less than two hours. Oh, okay. 